Hey guys, how are you today? Guess what? I'm gonna read you another toucan story. And now you're probably like, Miss Snell, are you kidding me? You've read us so many books about toucans this week. Let's look at the books I've read you this week about toucans. We have learned so many different things. I read you a nonfiction book about toucans, Loopy, where we learned a bunch of facts and information about toucans. I read you a fictional story about toucans where we saw toucans doing all kinds of crazy things that they really can't do in real life. I read you a really super silly story called Toucans 2, which um, we learned about homophones. And remember what they are, homophones, are words that sound exactly the same, um, but they're spelled different and they have different meanings. So we've learned so many things through all of our Toucan books. So today, guess what? I have another book for you. It's called You Can Toucan Math. Are you saying what? Miss, now you're gonna teach us some math with toucans? Yes, I am. You are going to love this book today. It's going to be so much fun. So here I have my board, You Can, Two Can, Math, and I have six different squares on my board. So what I need you to do is I need you to pause this video and I need you to go get a piece of paper like this, okay? And I need you to draw six squares on the piece of paper because as I read, through this story, you're gonna hit the pause button and you're gonna do the math um, question that I that I read to you from the book, okay? So go get a piece of paper and come on back. All right. So here we go, Luby, are you ready? You can, too, can math. This book is a word problem solving fun math book. So a word problem is exactly that. It's a problem with words in it and it requires us to do some math skills. It's written by David A. Adler and illustrated by Edward Miller. And look at all those awesome toucans. Look how pretty they are. Word problem solving, you can toucan math. Okay. With each number riddle, you know what a riddle is? A riddle is a, a, like a puzzle you have to solve, it's a problem. First decide which operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then solve the riddle. Now you're probably thinking, what? I'm only in first grade. I only know how to add and subtract. Well, that's okay because um, I'm just going to read you a few of these pages. This book has a lot of word problems in it, so I'm just going to read you a few that I know you can do, all right? And we'll save the harder ones for when you're in a, um, another grade, maybe second grade, okay? So here we go. Now, do you have your piece of paper ready and your pencil? Because when I'm done reading this, you're going to stop, you're going to pause, and then you're going to draw it. Um, and what I always say when we're doing word problems is, when in doubt, draw it out. So if you don't know what the answer is by using your head, you're gonna use pictures, okay? So here we go. Two toucans, two toucans and seven, and four toucans more. How many toucans are two, seven, and four? So what I want you to do is take your pencil, I have my chalk here, and I am going to draw dots for those numbers because I can't really draw a toucan right now. It'll take a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw those dots and then we're gonna add them up. So you can do it on your paper with me. All right, Loopy, ready? We have to do two. We have to do the number seven, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, I have to do right here, six, and I have to do one right here because they're not all gonna fit. So I have two, seven, and the next number we heard was four. 
So two, a seven, and a four. One, two, three, four. All right, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna count all those dots together to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So how many is two, seven, and four? We have the number 13. Maybe some of you did this in your head because maybe you looked at the two numbers that would be easiest to add. So I would take the largest and then I would take the smallest. Seven, put two in your head, seven, eight, nine, and then count on four, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. We got it right. Okay, so are you ready to do the next one? Isn't this fun? Okay, so the next one says, peck, peck. A woodpecker pecks an elm, an oak, and a beech. Now those are all different kinds of wood. And if you can see here, there are the branches of all the different kinds of wood. And it says here, um, in all, how many pecks does the woodpecker peck? If the woodpecker pecks the trees, four pecks each. All right, so how many branches did we have? One, two, three. We have three branches, so let's go ahead and draw three branches. And how many times did the woodpecker peck each one of those branches? four times. That means we have to put four dots on each branch. Ready, Luffy? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to count them all together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did you guys say 12? If you did, you are correct. And this is also um, the beginning of multiplication. It's three groups of four and three groups of four, that's three times four equals 12. So see, that's how you do multiplication. All right, let's do another page. Maya, are you ready? Here, Maya, come on, we have to read to the kids. All right, let's do another one. Here we go. Do you guys have your pencils ready and your paper? Okay. Yeah. Begin with 10 wrens. A wren is a bird. A desert bird is the cactus wren. We begin with 10. Four fly off. How many then remain from the 10? All right, so we have to start. How many do we start with? 10. So let's draw 10. We'll just use dots because it's easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So here we have five and a five, make it 10. How many flew off? Mm, four, so we have to X out four. One, two, three, four. Now let's count and see how many is left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are left. So we just subtracted, didn't we? Ten. Take away four equals six. You guys, are you doing this? I bet you're doing a great job. All right, let's do the next one. Quiet, please. Robin's resting on, Robin's resting the first day of fall. Six here, seven there, how many in all? Oh, okay, so we have to do six. And did you hear the number seven? Six and a seven. Ronnie, you're gonna have to move out of my way. Let me move my board down. Look at Ronnie's tail right in the way. Come here, buddy, we need this square. We need to do our, our problem here. A six and a seven. Oh, come on, be nice, move out of the way. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So did you guys draw six and seven dots? Now let's add them together. Ready, LeBron? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So a six and a seven.
seven, make 13. We just did an addition, didn't we? So Bronnie's in the way here. Oh, six, and I'm running out of room. Plus seven equals 13. All right, let's do the next one. We have two more left. Let's see here. I bet you guys are doing a great job. Let's see here. What page is this I gonna do? Sorry guys, I have the earmarks down here. Okay, here we go. By the bay, 20 blue jays. By the bay, 12 fly off. How many stay? All right, so we started with 20. Oh, that's a lot of dots. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And LeBron, you are still in the way, buddy. We have to do 10 more. Hey, he's getting grumpy because I'm waking him up from his nap time. We have to do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so how many went away? 12 flew off. All right, so we have to X out 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and let's count what we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 20 take away 12 is 8. Running out of space to write my problems, guys. 20 minus 12 equals 8. We have one more to do. Here we go. Luke, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Loons at the lake, loons on the water and under, 12 loons at the lake. I wonder with seven up, how many under? Okay, so there's 12 loons on the lake, seven are up above the water and we have to figure out how many's under the water. So let's draw, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, how many were under? Did you remember? Um, seven. I wonder with seven up. So seven are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many are under? One, two, three, four, five. Five are under. That is right. So there were 12, seven. So 12 take away seven equals, and I can barely fit it in, five. So there you go. There's our you can, two can math lesson for the day. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to make up some word problems of your own. You can do any animal. It doesn't have to be birds, like this book had a lot of birds in it. You don't have to do birds. Maybe you can do um, dogs or cats or whatever your favorite zoo animal is. Make up three word problems and then go ask someone if they can solve them for you, okay? Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you have a great day and happy toucan week. I know you loved all of our toucan books, so did I. They're so much fun to read and so many things we can learn. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening.